what it is, what's up, Naruto content to cut. I'm personally just shocked that I'm only one chapter behind on this because I feel like I haven't recorded a, a Boruto video in two years. Technically, it's been about almost two months since I last recorded one. Uh, but we are better late than never, I guess. I had this chapter pulled up since it came out like last month. So I've just been sitting here. I haven't read it. Anything I'll see is new. Um, I'll leave a link to the previous Boruto videos I've done. I've done a one for every chapter at this point. So I'm going to keep it going. I don't know what kind of fucker I'm going to get. But uh, I've been very, very pleasantly surprised with everything that this series has done. This iteration of the series has done so far. And uh, Kishimoto, kind of like I said in the previous video, in his 2005 Kobe bag right now. Uh, so I'm going to go into a break and then come back. This is for heaven. Um... All right, we're back. I turned the game up a little bit. I don't know if it made a noticeable difference, but when doing streaming, I have a lot of background noise coming in. So this is a little bit different than streaming. I'm trying to be a little bit closer to the mic here. Uh, but if the audio quality is butt, just comment and let me know. Uh, chapter 6, Baruto, three years, and we had the little uh, Uzumaki symbol that has been here a couple times to this point in Baruto Part 2. Is it just weird to think about Baruto Part 2? The traitor Baruto, a eh? why does he return when he knows we want him dead for having killed the Hokage? I wonder if these are extension of Donzo's old kind of teammates, not teammates, but um, the people who were on the same council as Donzo. The Dai, Dai Mio. So that's like the old heads that kind of do the in the shadow overlording of each village. Um, I'm trying to remember like what kind of particular people we saw in original Naruto. Like when I said Donzo was part of this group, I'm pretty sure he was part of this council. And he just kind of like used his power amongst the council to announce himself as Hokage when Tsunade had to step down temporarily. So, kind of like, basically, Hokage have people that they answer to as well, for anybody, I think, not familiar with that concept. Although they do have the final choice, obviously. But I mean, they're typically Hokage. Shikamaru is obviously a certain kind of particular situation. It's been three years, appear to you yourself designated. Stop dallying and informally accept the title of Lord Eighth. You're weakening our position, not just with the Land of Fire, but the other villages as well. And Chikamaru refused to kind of accept that Naruto's gone. As you would expect, he's pretty much been Hokage in name, but not Hokage officially. And that's kind of the vibe we got in Shikamaru hitting the blunt like a... God, what's his name? His sensei. Uh, he starts with an A. Fuck, I forgot his name. Sarutobi Asuma. Hitting that shit like Asuma. I'm guessing it's going to be like some of the stuff he did as a kid, I suppose. You don't look so fucking good, bro. I wish he wasn't fucking a loser. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Just, I think objectively speaking, I would consider uh, Sai a, a loser. You know that the off-the-record transmissions are a violation of regs. You know, some being a rat. But, yo, you know was the coolest motherfucker in Naruto OG, man. Don't be a rat, dude. Don't be soccer. Do as I say or else we're done here. You're the only one I can ask. Damn. Yo, shout out my nigga Shikamaru, man. Holding it down. Still. Cool ass character. Even though he did kind of get, uh... Like, it is... It does kind of suck that, um... Super smart dude that programmed all of the cyborgs. Like, he was able to kind of figure out that omnipotence was, like, a sham. But Shikamaru was, like, still being duped to this day. Although it appears, I'm guessing with this chapter, that Shikamaru's gonna start doing some digging here. That's interesting. They're out of his league. So at this point... Basically, those uh, Juby, mini Jubies, have like probably reached a tier of punk their own, a punk among their own at this point. I imagine maybe Momoshiki taking over Baruto or all oh, Akawaki could maybe compete. Those two have been shown to be, I think, above code at this point, but they're not that much above code to where I think they can take down all four of those uh, little Jubies. <laughs> you see, so she says. And me as well. 
obviously a little bit worried, but hoping to get some kind of reassurance from our our guy uh, Kawaki, and uh, she gets none. So <laughs> Baruto and Sasuke are the only ones other than us who know the Hokage is alive, right? Sasuke knew Naruto was alive. I didn't remember that. Was that shown? Because because Sasuke didn't know that when Omnipotence went off. So I'm guessing that this piece of dialogue is saying something happened with Boruto and Sasuke's kind of experience uh, that let Sasuke know that Naruto's alive. I don't know. That's that's my best assumption. When someone eventually figured out that she lied. And Damon's thinking two steps ahead of everybody else at this point. She still has like those actual like deep-seated emotions for a dude. Is that Mitsuki? I guess that's who that is. Like she has legitimately like kind of the same sense that um the chick from Death Note, uh what's her name, like Hero or whatever, uh she like had like ridiculous emotions for light to the point where she would have done anything. I think those are still like kind of clouding uh Ida's emotions. Like she's kind of like in love with this dude. Are they meditating or what what's happening here? Just chilling. Chilling the cut. <laughs> I'd never imagine you jumping me like that. Boruto would have never thought he had Sarda in his hands like that, bro. You gotta, you gotta understand that, you know, at the end of the day, you got the Riz, Boruto. <laughs> it's part of the family. Unfortunately, not with the women that the guys in that family typically want first. Typically, like the next girl or the next girl or the next. Anyway. The, the family, though, they do have the Riz, I would say. Yeah, I will say one thing, man. Uh, Mitsuki is a hitter, bro. He is a soldier, dude. He doesn't give a damn. He's gonna rob for anybody, man. I, it might be part of his program to do so, but, yo. He picked up his R, man. See, that, that's that Riz I'm talking about, man. Baruto got that R going to him, man. Kawaki is suited for pursuing Baruto. He would be alert as soon as Kawaki got near. Oh, shit. Is Miski trying to, like, off Baruto himself? So Miski's trying to shoot the fair one against Baruto himself. Okay. That's kind of like, that's a little Orochimaru-esque, I would say. Snaking your, your homie to do what you want to do. Excuse me. So his theory is that basically, because he has the presence of Otsutsuki, that's what's leading to some of this mind awakening that's occurring right now. We'll see. Um, that's interesting. That's an interesting theory. I mean, you obviously kind of knew that the cold, the cold grime was the reason why they were different. It's just the kind of the backdrop for... That's interesting. I don't think it's leading them to have any Otsuki presence in them, but it is obviously giving them Rinnegan. Um, they have sentience now, and they're looking for, you know, goals that that is a little bit different than uh so I, I do wonder kind of how that all flows in together i guess we'll find out due time the sensory unit is not involved at all you know yaka yamanaka but personally connected us on a private line it's unofficial transmission that won't be logged yo we got that uh got that telegram connection out here let's go in to end encrypted yeah i love shikamaru man i knew he was a real one ftg let's go it's kind of just like uh, Minato. He has a seal on his sword. What a goat. Smart man there. He also has a little glove like Sasuke. That's pretty cool too. I like that. It's a nice touch. It is crazy you can use FTG as effortlessly as Minato can. I think that's pretty cool. So we're going to have a pretty good idea. I I've never watched the anime. So we're like now going to have a pretty good idea of how powerful stage mode uh, Mitsuki is. You would think like he's a like a really relevant threat to this day, I would imagine. Because we haven't in the manga seen him, like, fight at all, you know? His eyes are interesting. Those don't look like a dojutsu we've seen before. But they're definitely not normal pupils either. Interesting. You would think, realistically, though, that, like, even if he was, like, you know, Kabuto and of Naruto level, uh, in terms of his stage mode ability, probably still scales below this version of Baruto. Striking Shadow Snake Assault. I think this might be a move that Kabuto actually used. That's a pretty basic, like, Orochimaru type ability. What's he gonna do? Say, uh, save Naruto? 
Kill Kawaki? What was he gonna say? I don't know. I'm just gonna say what, they, what was he gonna say? I'm off working to fly. That's crazy as hell. This dude's just flying out here casually. We actually unlocked like flying in this in this world, more or less. He might actually just be flying. He might just be using wind current or something like that. But that's interesting that he's visually speaking kind of flying. It's it's clearly signifying here between this panel and this that he's doing something close to how Otsuki who can fly. He's doing something like that. I don't know what this actual technique would be called, but it's definitely um, reminiscent of how the Otsutsuki fly. What's that snake located at? It looks like it's located on Mitsuki, but I just didn't know if it might have been located on Naruto himself. Or Baruto himself. At this point, Naruto, he got the same level of clouds as Baruto, in my opinion. They're like both clouded as hell. Oh, it's that. I didn't see this. So it's that snake. This is okay. Never mind. He's just languishing, basically. Okay. Konoha has spent on eliminating you at all, whatever the cost, of course, you know. Entire land of fire. Basically, Konoha. It doesn't matter. The rest of the land of fire don't matter. It's just Konoha. There are things I can see and do simply because I'm Hokage. So while I can't aid you openly, there are things I can do to support you in my own way. Plus, I want your help. You're actually Uzumaki Baruto. Let's go, Shikamaru. Come on, man. I knew Shikamaru wasn't a fucking invalid, dude. I knew he was going to figure it out. I knew that if if Amado could figure it out, that fucking Shikamaru should be able to figure it out. They're the same level of intelligence, more or less. You look at the narrative, like, kind of explanation there. These are two comparable people in brain. And I know Amado has the advantage of, like, intimately knowing uh, what a fake... Karma looks like, what a real karma looks like. Code, Kawaki, their structure, uh, Ida's abilities. I know he has all that shit, but like Shikamaru is the big brain since day fucking one. I knew you'd figure it out, man. Let's go, Shikamaru. Oh, so Shikamaru. Damn, Abado told Shikamaru. He didn't even figure it out. God damn it. <laughs> Shikamaru, no. <laughs> Shikamaru's dumber than Abado. Fuck. Think of are you fucking moron. Oh. I thought he was a big brain genius. I thought he figured it out on his own. Things make sense when you flip your position in Kawaki's. I've said this in like almost every video to this point. That like if you logically like from us, the viewer perspective, just like looked at all the events that occurred before Omnipotence went off. And then you like, there's still so many like jagged pieces that don't connect when you try to flip those two characters. And their own narratives. Oh, the snake did get on Baruto. Oh, shit. I thought that was on Kawaki. Or Mitsuki. How far does the mind transfer jutsu reach? I've got a loose end to tie up. So he's going to try to, I guess, kill Code, I guess? Oh, so it's, it's for Mitsuki. Okay. I'm going to get a little rough with you. Okay. So that's who he was referring to when he said the loose end. So did he know the snake was on him? I've traveled quite a long way from the village. I should be beyond Kawaki's range now. How far does the mind transfer you to reach? In Eno's case, I think it's about 100 kilometers around the village. Why? I hate to break this off, but I've got a loose end to tie up. I mean, there's no surprise his facial reaction whatsoever. When he sees Kawaki or Mitsuki coming, he's not even like remotely surprised. I think he knew the snake was on him. My assumption is that he wanted to kind of beat some sense into Mitsuki. That's the only thing I can figure out, is that that was the point of him. Like, landing where he did, outside the range of Kawaki, almost outside the range of um, Mind Transfer Jutsu. I guess he wanted to finish off Mitsuki. Well, not finish off, it's like kill him, but just like get him out the paint. Huh. As far as my favorite panel, I'm biased, but him effortlessly using FTG is at this point, like, just his his pure ability with FTG is incredible. I really gotta say that, like, he, between his training with, you know, Sasuke, 
even abilities that Sasuke would have no ability to develop, like FTG, which I guess he might have some ability because he's so familiar with Amino I Tijikara, which is a teleportation jutsu, in a sense. But um, it is very interesting that, like, basically Naruto's entire Boruto's entire floor got raised. You also got to keep in mind, like, this is Sasuke at his most base. Like, he just has, he has Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan gone, no Rini gone. Uh, I think there's still some chakra boost that's he has that's from the power of the sages his paths. But basically, like, this is the most fundamental Sasuke. He's just teaching them, you know, nature release, how to become a stronger ninja, all of them, like, intangible stuffs. Um, that's, you know, just helps, I guess, raise Baruto's ability in general. I wonder how many, I mean, we'll never know, but he's perfected Rasengan to the point where he can use Rasengan on one hand and he's even unlocked the new ability that Naruto didn't have the ability to use which is the uh the rotation ability he's perfected FTG effectively he, I mean this is the most we've seen FTG go it's where you can put a seal on something and you can teleport to it so he's done that so he's basically mastered the best ability from his two predecessors I imagine whatever we see next will be something of his own accord which he may not have a special ability, but I would imagine they give him something. But that's, um... That's gonna be about it. I mean, I really got nothing else to say. I may read up on this some more myself, see what other people are theorizing here, but pretty straightforward chapter for the most part. Obviously, with Kishimoto, there's some things left behind, like, what is Shikamaru planning? Um, What was Baruto referring to here? Where he's talking about something else he wanted to swear by um, Sarada. What's Mitsuki's angle? Is it more than just revenge? I would think so with Mitsuki being A, an Orochimaru product, and B, uh, somebody who has clearly been shown to serve like a purpose embedded inside of him. Like He has a sworn loyalty that's almost like Mikasa Ackerman-like, where it's like, this is his core functionality. This is what he's supposed to do. So we'll probably see some more about how Orochimaru may be programmed Mitsuki, maybe in the future. And uh, we haven't seen anything in relation to the the tailed beasts and their own programming and their own planning in a whole chapter. So we'll probably see them next chapter, I would imagine. And code is off the grid, grid, grid. So we'll see what code is looking like. That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, peace.